Hey, welcome back to Star of the Dragon, and today's level is Dark Hollow. Uh, thinking back, um, the demo had to have had more than one level, because I remember playing this when I was a kid. Which doesn't mean much, because I owned the whole game as a whole game as a kid. And these are annoying, only not really because you push charge. And uh, this is great, like, you have to face, like, a couple of those. Uh, while well, they're falling. That's not a dragon. That'd be awesome if a dragon had the name Fallen. And he just fell off like that. Okay. You know, I could probably fix the camera not working. But I'm not going to. And I got up here just to get a thing I can't open. But I will go over here. And you are big. You do not scare me. So I love little it looks like a rocket coming out of the end of the fire. Okay. Can you say the thing I'm looking for? Alvin. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yeah, that's the thing, like you have to face two of them to get to him. You couldn't have put him, like, at the start of the level, telling me that that's how you tell him. If you were five, you would just, like, end the game here because you didn't know how to tell him. That, that's an exaggeration. Like, it's just one of those, you tell me after I'm forced to figure it out kind of things. And I don't think lightning goes do anything. I know in future games there are skill things. There are, like, lighting things or breaking things. Open. Mainly because I can't fly. Um, maybe because you never know what it is in the level. I think yeah, there's something else here. I like how these are purple, just like um, spirals back. I was about to say SpongeBob. Don't know why. Okay, here. That's like a button. But unfortunately, you don't get any other moves in this game. What you do in the future is Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Again, I faced one before. I'm pretty sure I know how to take care of one. Then I think most of them you didn't have to go near. Before resting that one. So I guess that one's my worst. Am I like here next to me? Okay, I'm gonna go over here. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go over I don't know if it's a car ring, by the way. Um, this is a disclaimer. And these, like, you have to run past them and know to, like, go like that. Not like that. Like this. Yeah, it's the thing. Frame. Camera, do you, do you want to be useful? Is there a camera option? Camera. Okay, active. Unless you follow me, I'll have that Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Because we're not playing other dragons, that's why, because it'd be useful. And it's such a secret, I can zoom in on my. The other ones are trap marks. One down. One up to this. Um, as for future Spyro games, I'll probably play them. Um, I have up until the 
third one for the PS1, and then I'm stuck on how to record a PS2 unless I can figure out how to get this emulator to record on PS2. I read that you can get it to just run PS2 games just like the PS1, but I have no clue if I'm gonna need another plug or something. If you've ever tried running it, the XPS E PS X F1 emulator, you'll know how many plugins you need to get for it. It seems to be easier because they like have like a setup wizard now, but still it was kind of painful. I have to Google all of it and find it so arduous. And that's everything. And... Yep, that's it. Oh, it's glass and green levels. There are levels, I guess, in the past. Like the first one was really short. Because that took. I don't know even how long. Like six minutes. Same with the last level. Okay, so that's it for this time. See you for next time.